step five. You'll recall we're doing problem P2, but we're doing it average costing. And we're in step five of the production report or the process cost report. And in step five is where we take that cost per equivalent unit and we uh, multiply that by the equivalent units to assign cost to either ending inventory or transferred out. But we know regardless, we have to come back to the total cost that, are, that we're responsible for, our 130385 In step four, we found that for materials, that we have a 1.155 uh, cost per equivalent unit for materials. Going up to step two, we find that there were 3,400 equivalent units for materials. So multiplying those two together, we're going to assign 3,927 of cost to ending inventory. Likewise, in step four, we found that our cost per equivalent unit for conversion was 0.856, and we're going to multiply that going back to step two the equivalent units for ending inventory, which were 1,700 equivalent units. So 1,700 times 0.856, we're going to assign $1,455, and if you get really excited, 20 cents of cost to ending inventory. So adding these two together, 3,927 plus 1,455, Ending inventory is going to be assigned a total of 53.82, and I'm going to leave the 20 cents off. So one more time, the dollar this comes from the 1.155 comes from step four, yeah, and the 3,400 and the 1,700 come from you got it step two. So let's find it real fast just to make sure right here and right here. That's the step two, equivalent units. Here's your cost in step four. So that means that if ending inventory is going to be assigned 5382, the rest of the cost will probably, well, has to go to transferred out. So the difference between the total cost 13385 and 5382 is 125 Zero, zero, 003. So transferred out costs are being assigned a total of $125,003. Now I could do the math and prove that out uh, knowing that we have some rounding differences or um, if we're into doing this more quickly we know that we could plug it as well. Now why did we do all this? Well we did it for the sake of that fabulous journal entry, debit work in process, next department, or we could also be uh, debiting finished goods if the product is now done, and we're going to credit, work in process, this department. And the amount that we use for this journal entry is the amount transferred out, because it's going transferred out, TO, it's going to someplace else, of $125,003. So I'm going to debit WIP. I'm going to credit WIP for $125,003. I post it to my WIP account as a credit, $125,003. And because I've made this entry, I can now find my ending balance in my work in process account for my department. And it comes out to be the $5,382. So this is average costing five steps to success using P2 as an example.